pause. Redo. They had apple cider Italian ice. You enjoyed it as much as I will enjoy not editing out you saying pause redo. It is me, the Megan Lee, here with another episode of Roughly Explained with my one and only co-host. Guy who talked to Dane Cook on Instagram, but you can call me Dustin. So we just recently attended an amazing show, Mystery Meet 6, hosted down in Orlando. I wanted to give one big shout out to Southern Fresh and Basic Click for having us there. And a huge shout out to V2 Labs for putting on an amazing show. And with the people, because they were great, they helped get us down there. I just wanted to talk a little bit about Basic Click. Even though everybody knows, you should know. I'm even wearing their official shirt for the event. I won't show you the back because then I might hit the microphone and mess it up, but love basic click. The guy that does it, phenomenal guy, great guy. Absolutely amazing. And he is pushing to make good designs and pushing to make quality items while going to these shows instead of just trying to, I, I'm very picky about the brands. I just see so many brands that are cash grabs where it's like, I thought of one cool word. I put it on stickers. Give me money. And it's not putting any effort. And I really see him actually trying it. And I've talked to him about business ideas and he's really creating a legacy, which is why he's now going to all the shows and keeps growing, growing. And he's the booth with a couch, which is just, just a good move. Just has a couch at his shows for hanging out. Very dedicated. And Absolutely. such genuine people. And, we got to talk pets with them, which that's always a great win. Oh, my God. Yes. I was like, is that your cat? <laughs> he had a cat tattooed on his arm. And I was like, is that your cat? He was like, no, but I have one. And he's amazing. I was like, I love that. Absolutely. All I needed to hear. I love that. And the other people were? Southern Fresh. They are super amazing. Um, they're putting on a show actually in March in Marietta, Georgia. They have amazing trophies. So last year they did license plate covers like the the border and they're super unique really dope it's honestly really cool to do that because it's something that you can take with you and actually put on your car not just a trophy that you like put on your wall and just like you know look at so in the year before that they did super bowl rings which i thought was very unique southern fresh is super dope and they're very creative with their prizes well then just cut me off at where i talked about the super oh, Bowl. i wasn't going to cut you off i was just going to leave that in there. no like cut it <laughs> we'll cut it, off. Cut it out right. when you edit very inclusive show it's also got a very large parking lot if you're embarrassed. If you're like, no, nah, my car is straight up trash. Me. Still, it's got a big parking lot. And it's in a nice location. I didn't get to see a lot of it last year because of work. But the year before, I did catch all of it. I just got the tail end last year. But one of the things I thought was a really smart idea is the year before, they had just small, cheap trophies that everybody got with their admission. And you gave it to your favorite car, which... Then the car with the most gets a prize, but it also is kind of neat of seeing some cars with like a dozen of them stacked up and everything. And I just thought that was a smart idea. It's like creativity. and I really like that too, because it's not just like one person, which I'm not coming at any specific shows or anything, but it's not just one random person deciding like, Oh, this was best of show. This is best of fitment. This is best of whatever. It's actually letting the people themselves viewing the builds kind of choose for themselves. Hey, like, I think this is the one that deserves this. Like you're letting the actual people like decide, themselves on like hey this is my favorite this is my favorite build and I really like that because at the end of the day like it really goes to show truthfully how people genuinely feel which I think matters more than just one person going around judging cars being like because that's going to be biased with one person judging all the cars I really like the idea of giving people the trophies to hand out to the car that they think is the one that deserves that yeah absolutely and speaking of great shows we'll get back to Mystery Meet 6 and our struggle with getting there. It was quite an eventful night of getting to the show. Um, You know, I went off absolutely zero sleep. Same with Dustin. Yeah, I felt really bad because we had different schedules that night. So we didn't get to travel together like we were initially hoping we might be able to do because I'm Knoxville, you're... Georgia. I'm not going to get more personal to you weirdos. And this event was down in Florida and basically like it was in Orlando. So 
I drove all night because I couldn't leave until 7 p.m. the night before. We both drove all night yeah. to get down there in time for when the show started. Well, and me. Yeah. You got there a little bit earlier. I got there on time. Yeah. And uh, so roll in, early roll in was 4 a.m. or 5 a.m.? 4 a.m. Yeah. So I get there at a few minutes till four without sleeping. I had thought I would, but there was construction. And then we roll in and the event is put on by Navi with V2 Labs, Sorcery. Great guy. Really organized. Absolutely amazing people. And he told me to go pull in where his wife is at his booth. And I pull up and I feel bad because I had previously met her. Great woman. And... She was like, oh, hello, we previously met. And I, I, it's one of those moments where it's like, I know I'm the jerk, but I can't help it. I just told her, I was like, I will remember you in a few hours. I need sleep. Mind you guys, he is narcoleptic. So just to like put that out there. Maybe dabble in it. <laughs> and I was like, I, just, I need sleep. Where can I put my car and sleep two hours? And then I'll remember you and say hello. And I, I will apologize. And she told me, and I was like, okay. And I went and slept my two hours. And then you showed up. And at like 7 a.m. Yeah, I think I got there at like 7 a.m. He was telling me I was going to have to wait in line for two hours. No, I literally was behind three LS 300s. And I already knew when we were driving, we drove about 20 miles with them, cruising with them. I was like, they're going to the show. They have to be. It's literally three LS 300s. Like, they have to be going to the show. We were cruising with them, showed up, pulled in. The line didn't even take five minutes. We got in. Um, and it was no problem getting in, really. But I was just still running off no sleep, no food, nothing but a f- f- Red Bull, that, per, per usual. I, but I think that's one of the great things about that show. That show made all the other ones I've been to look bad because I've never seen a roll-in so perfectly organized. It was so organized and easy to get to where you need to go, whether you're parking, whether you're a vendor, whether you're a show car. It was so organized and easy. And that is honestly one of the most organized shows I've been to. I will say that. Yeah. It was so smooth and clean. Like whenever you put in, hey, where do you need to go? What are you here for? Go this way. And you went your way. And it was so simple. And one thing that did help, which I thought was a cool idea, is... They had camping the night before, which I would have loved to do. If I had time, I had to help out with a family event. Mm. Apparently, there was like two or 300 people that camped the night before, which I saw the videos. That looked like the greatest time ever. I don't think those people got I would have camped. I would have camped. Yeah, but it was. And I don't camp like that. An absolute great time. But I, I was just really impressed with it. This is my first time making it because it's down in Orlando. It was very well planned out, organized, and professional. So I will say, though, about this event, I really loved genuinely that they were so inclusive in terms of you had drifting, drag racing, and a whole show car event here. So it was just you had anything and everything. If you were if you weren't into drifting, you had show cars. If you're not like if, if you weren't into one thing, you had so many options to pick from. And when we sat down and watched all the cars drifting, which they even did ride-alongs, which I thought was so amazing that they were allowing people to come do ride-alongs with all the drift cars. That was amazing to allow people to do ride-alongs. Watching the cars drifting really honestly made me want to get into drifting. And I finally learned how to drift and a manual, which, I mean, I've driven manual for years, but I've never actually had a car that's worth, like, drifting in. So I finally learned how to drift in a 350Z manual um, a little while ago, and it's made me really want to get into drifting. So now I'm currently working on buying a drift car, possibly a 350Z man- Well, whatever it's going to be is going to be manual, but possibly a 350Z. Not sure yet. Still deciding, still figuring that out. But actually being there in person, watching the whole um, drift track, it's really made me want to get into drifting. So my next project is working on building a drift car to start drifting. Um, but overall, the drag racing was amazing at how they let anybody and everybody who wanted to drag race, drag race, whether it was with another person or just by themselves. Like, it was just really amazing to watch like if that if drifting wasn't your thing and drag racing was you could do it if that's not your thing and having a show car 
like having a VIP build or a stance build, like if that was your thing, they, they had opportunities for anybody and everybody to enjoy what they wanted to enjoy at that show. And I really respected that. And the ASM show was absolutely amazing. That was honestly, and it was so funny too, because it was, they had two different ASM shows in the same event. It was almost like ASMs competing versus ASM. Like, which one ASM or ASM? I thought that was so funny and hilarious. And, but all the cars there in general were absolutely amazing. The drift event was amazing. The drag racing was amazing. And the ASM shows were absolutely amazing. What were your thoughts on them, including everything all into one? I liked it. I liked, there was a lot of impressive aspects about it. The first, because to me, this is the biggest aspect that really has to go with mentioning is this event was $10 cash only. They did warn everybody. If you showed up with a credit card, it's your fault for being an idiot. But for $10, you can do a drift ride along. You can watch drifting. You can watch drag racing. You can drag race your car. Like, you get to see all the show car. They really... The fact that it was everything for just ten dollars is a steal. Unreal. Yeah, it was such an amazing value for all the things that you're getting to do that I was completely blown away by it. Especially because the drift ride alongs were free. I mean, like, yeah, you're ten dollars for admission, but it's not like okay, pay every time you want to do it. And the drift cars, these were not just people who showed up with a car to go drifting. These are people that knew what they were doing. They knew what they were doing. Especially because at the end of the day, people were drifting. Because I've seen drifting events, and everybody's doing it in the morning, and then the people start fading away as the day goes along. But these people actually had good reliability. I'm sure there were some issues and problems, but these people kept everything going. So I thought it was well done. And the drag racing was entertaining and not but i say that as a compliment because i like that people that just have a car and took it to tech and they're like yeah this probably won't kill you go on for it they just let it people go out there and i would rather that i like that aspect of having everybody involved with it and as you mentioned it's huge asm fan love asm they were having a private like invitation only deal and then they expanded it. So, yeah, I love that they would split it. Of There was the ASM side and the other one. And if you go to the Roughly Explained Instagram, you'll have Chris explain the overarching theme as to why people are in one section versus the other. The one and only JDM Poppy. That go check right. out that little interview we posted on the Instagram. We are cross-promoting. We're building the network. We're getting all them names. We're a big deal. Don't worry about it. But I love that ASM was out there showing up with a lot of great cars, a lot of great setup. A lot of great people, not even Absolutely. just the cars or the setup. Honestly, at the end of the day, the people there were so amazing. It's so nice to actually like when you see a car and you see how amazing it is, it's even more amazing to see and meet the person that built that car and see like why they built the car the way the way they built it. And just, you know, the people in general were all absolutely amazing. Yeah. And that's kind of one of the good things about us doing events and things like this is because we know people in different aspects of the car world. And so there is a nice benefit of whenever we go, you're introducing me to people and I'm introducing you to people. And it's just kind of fun to get to meet all the people and see all the different sides of it. Cause yeah. I am much more familiar with the show side, you know, more about the, the drift side and yeah, it's, it's a lot of just fun checking it out. So I highly recommend it whenever they do it again next year. That'll be seven. Seven's a lucky number. So, of course, you're going to go anyways. Mystery Meet was honestly one of my favorite events I think I've been to in a long time. Not only because... So the shows I've been to, like Clean Exhibition, Slam Enough, um, just all the shows, those are absolutely amazing. Don't get me wrong, but having an event where it's not just a show and you're incorporating drifting, drag racing, and a show all in one, 
it's it's amazing. Like I, it's it's not just a show. Like if if you want to go watch some some people drifting or even ride along with them, like it it was just so amazing. Actually, having so many different aspects of the car community all incorporated into one because you don't see that often. Like most times, like it's just either a car show or it's just a a drift event or it's just a drag racing event. But actually, having all three of those put into one was honestly like it was amazing. Like it was amazing if you if I got if I was like, okay, I'm done watching cars drifting, like let's go watch some drag racing. We could. Okay, let's go watch some let's go see some show cars. We could. Like you literally have so many options there. And that's not something you really see often when you go to events. Events are typically um they're only focused on one certain thing, which isn't a bad thing necessarily, but it's just I'm just saying like having the ability to go and watch so many different things, such as drifting, drag racing, and a car show, it's really nice to have the or the it's really nice to have the ability to go and pick which one you want to go for. If you like one better than the other, like you have the opportunity to go watch that the entire time. It was just really cool to see them incorporate all of that into one. Cause I really feel like it brings the car community together even more incorporating all the different aspects of the car community, the drift community, the, the show car stance car community and the drag racing community. Cause you don't really see all of those incorporated together in one event typically so it was really cool to see it all incorporated in one event i feel like you're really ignoring one important aspect though that was there because you have not mentioned the ice cream yet oh my god the ice cream was delicious and they had doesn't they haven't paid us for this let them pay us for they this had v-tech ice cream cones they had Honda emblemed ice cream cones. Don't say their name until they sponsor us. I have not said their name. They should be paying us. I am just saying to promote them. But it if was if you go to the show, you'll get amazing. It ice was cream. really good ice cream and Italian ice. And they, if you want to hear who the ice cream's from, they had check give out me the that Instagram. Money. Check out the Instagram if you want to see who it was from. They had um, what was the flavor I got? Uh, uh, um. I love this drink. What is it? Um, spiced, um, spiced, um, spiced apple, um, apple. They had Italian iced apple cider. Or sorry, pause, redo. They had apple cider Italian ice. Now that is something I've never seen in my life before, and it was so good that you enjoyed it as much as I will enjoy. Not editing out you saying pause redo. You were trying to, <laughs> we were trying to film at the show and he was like, are you ready? And I had already finished the whole, the whole cup of it. I was like, I'm not ready. I don't have anything left. That's true. So that was one aspect that I really enjoyed. I, it is also just Florida is amazing car culture. No, no surprise. It really Everybody is. Knows. It is all the car. Like it brought us some amazing cars. Cause I have cars that are down there that I just love. They're a flat state, which also helps because, you know, one of the guys I know, the dev, his car doesn't exist in other states. You can't drive that car in Tennessee around everywhere. Like, I know he comes down Gatlinburg and drives it. The guy drives it. But I'm just saying it doesn't work well with mountains. Overall, it was an absolutely amazing event with them incorporating so many different aspects. I literally have never seen an event more professionally organized to where it was so easy rolling in vendors, uh, just everything in general was so well put together and organized and being inclusive to so many different scenes to where people are into with the drift, the drag and the show. It was an amazing event. I will definitely be going back next year. And um, I did want to say one big thank you to Basic Click and Southern Fresh for having us out there. It was so much fun going out there, doing interviews and just having a great time around some amazing builds. Absolutely. And Navi, thank you for putting it on and we will catch you all in the next one. See you guys on the next episode. It'll definitely be an interesting episode. I don't want to ruin it yet, but it's, it's going to be interesting. I'm definitely going to have some good reactions to some crazy stuff. So tune into the next episode. If you guys want to see what that's going to be about, I'll give you a hint. Really weird.
that I'm going to react to. And I mean really weird stuff. This was, this was, I'm not going to tell you guys. All right, I'm gonna give you a hint. And then the hint is, here's the exact thing that it is. The, here, your hint is. Your this. hint is what it's going to be. I'm but thinking of a number between one and a thousand. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be 11. It's going to be 523. It's, it's going to be number 11, but it's a hint, just a hint, It you know. But if y'all want to check out the next episode, I'm going to be reacting to some really insane stuff. So check that out. It'll be posted shortly soon. So I hope to see you guys watching it and commenting on what you think about this. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed. Shout out to V2 Labs for putting on an amazing show. Mystery Meet 6 was absolutely amazing. Thank you to Basic Click and Southern Fresh for having us there. And we will see you guys on the next episode of Roughly Explained.